hey guys how are you i hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video today in this video we gonna try uh actually i gonna re review draft as you can see here it this room has a new look as you can see here the whole ui is different from other rooms and uh, it's the octavi os let me show you it's a version which is the 2.9.1 octavi os official build for our admin note 8 and note 80 and uh, its android version is 11 and its security patch is also latest which is the uh, 1st october 2021 as you can see here in the android version section we have all information of our display our processor here we have a beautiful octavi logo then we have the battery information cameras processor information and ram information too and then as you can see here the android version is uh, 11 and uh, maybe you can't uh, open up the easter egg of android 11 so today in this video i gonna review it out and i will also show you how you can install it on your redmi note 8 and note 8t so without any further ado let's get started So the UI of this ROM is just amazing as you can see here it is pretty much minimalistic and pretty much different and cool from other ROMs as you can see here look at the brightness slider it just looks amazing and super cool isn't it then look at the icons it looks just amazing you can add more icons by clicking on this card edit button and you can just drag and drop the quick settings you need to use so after it we don't have a load of janky application this is the vanilla build so you can uh, flash the gfs uh, according to your taste so i will pro uh, i will also provide a uh, download link of gfs so don't worry look at the app icons it is pretty much new app icons and look at the calculator and all app icons are uh, different and unique except some uh, applications icons like phone contact photos play store settings etc but some stock applications have new icons so the overall performance of this room is pretty much awesome this is working pretty much good and uh, as you can see here the animations are also played very well this is pretty much uh, unique and smooth and in the camera we have MIUI camera pre-installed and you can also install any custom uh, camera like Gcam modes or tier camera uh, in the left side we have Google now and uh, the UI looks pretty much awesome and now let's dig into the settings of course you can play any games or you can install any application and it gonna work without any lag or issue now look at the settings ui as you can see here here we have the hello owner and if you have added your name then it will uh, say your name hello like my name is fahad it will say hello fahad isn't it awesome the ui of settings is pretty much amazing look at the colorful logos right over here then we have network and internet connected uh, devices accounts and uh, battery the battery performance of this room is also pretty much good here we have battery saver smart charging and some battery capacity information then we have display as usual we have some display settings like brightness level night light styles and wallpapers and in the style we only have one style pre-installed and in the wallpapers we only have one wallpaper which is this wallpaper and uh, in the grid you can change the grid of your 
lounger then you can choose cloaks look at this cloaks it's just awesome there is a lot of cloaks to use look at this coded version it looks pretty much awesome it pretty much looks like programming i gonna use this one so then we have screen timeout live display rotation colors you can adjust font size display size and you can also enable some gadgets like tap to wake and pocket detection you could also change the font styles right from here then we have sounds the sound quality of this room is also pretty much amazing and here we have all the uh, advanced and basic sound uh, options right here and we also have the in color vibrations then we have apps and notifications storage octavi lab now in the octavi lab we have all available customizations first of all we have the uh, status bar customizations just go into it just look at the logos how beautifully it is created and just go into this and from here you can adjust the status bar icons you can change the clock and date you can enable or disable the battery indicator and you can also adjust them then we have battery styles you can change the battery style right from here you can also manage the battery percentage enabled and then you can also uh, enable any custom charging symbol near battery percentage text so i gonna use the flash then we have display cutout octavi logo as you can see here at the top here is a logo as you can see here so i also gonna use this one then we have a notification count and some 4g and roaming indicators indicator buttons then we have quick setting settings and uh, then we have settings of notifications then we have octavi theming from here you can change your rgb accent color from here uh, from this accent picker you can change it to any color for me i'm going to uh, orange and in a few seconds it will be changed to orange look at this how beautiful it is looking then we have black bucket uh, sorry color bucket you can change it uh, to any of these options then you can change the icon shape you can also change the icon pack as you can see here uh, now the custom icon packs are uh, already included in this room so let's try this one kai and let's see what will happen nothing changed or maybe this is for okay this is for the uh, custom uh, quick settings sorry quick setting icons then we have switch appearance uh, right now pre-default it's on oneplus and then we have navbar style you can also uh, change it so let's use one ui if you are using three finger gestures uh, three uh, button navigation bar then it will be uh, applied on your device then we have setting styles default and uh, gg visual mode then we have volume panel you can control uh, playback and you can also do some uh, switch volume panel location and do some other settings then we have navigation uh, menu from here you can customize it and you can enable uh, three button navigation bar two button navigation bar or na gesture navigation and you can also enable its back sensitivity and some button settings then we have gestures in the gestures we have uh, some gestures like swipe three fingers to screenshot double tap to sleep double tap to sleep on lock, uh, lock screen and brightness control over the status uh, status bar as you can see here after it we have the power menu 
from here you can enable advanced reboot and it will look like this one from here you can directly go to the recovery and bootloader after it we have the lock screen in lock screen we have lock screen short shortcuts and some other lock screen settings then we have visualizer weather gaming mode and this one is the advanced gaming mode this means uh, you can play any game easily without any lag or issue on this rom so here we also have the dynamic uh, mode you can also enable the gaming mode indication so after it we have the misc in the mix we have smart pixels if you enable it it gonna save your battery for long time and some other settings after it we have location security in this security we have all security options like uh, all screen locks are available face unlock is also available and fingerprint is also working and most of it we also have the app unlo app locker included in this room so no need to install any third party application to look applications then we have privacy accessibility system in the system we have languages and input gestures in the gestures we have quickly open camera system navigation bar prevent triggering power menu adaptive playback and speak, skip music tracks and then we have date and time backup reset options multiple users about octavi of os from here you can read about them and their team then we have xiaomi parts in the xiaomi parts we have the mi sound enhancer which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality as you know then we have display color collaboration lcd features clear speaker and you can also enable usb fast charging then at the end we have about phone digital well-being and google now let's go to the about phone go to android version and here we have the octavio os version which is the 2.9.1 official build and uh, its android version is 11 security patches first october 2021 so the rom is pretty much stable there is no any lag or issue or any single bug definitely you should try this rom and uh, you can use it as your daily driver so if you want to uh, install this rom on your redmi note 8 or note 80 then just download the rom from the link in the description and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery If you have not already installed custom recovery on your Redmi Note 8 or Note 8T, then you can watch my videos from the description box. So as you can see here, my Redmi Note 8 has been booted into the TWRP recovery. So after downloading the ROM, you have to restore it into your internal storage of your device. After storing it, go to wipe now we need to delete or wipe our previously installed custom rom or stock rom just go to the advanced wipe from here we have to select everything except the internal storage and sd card do not select internal storage and sd card just wipe right from here after wiping go back to home click on install and locate your downloaded Octavi OS ROM and Nick GFs. Uh, now uh, the link of both files is in the description. Go and download the OS plus GFs. Just select Octavi OS, flash it right from here. After flashing, go back and flash the Nick GFs. You can also flash Magix Manager if you want to root your ROM. After flashing these files, just go back to home, click on reboot, click on system. And the ROM will be installed on your device. So hope you guys like this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Keep supporting. Peace.